Welcome back guys, me and Eric are out again this morning. Beautiful old house here, 1890s built. He's already pulled a 1917 Merc and a Wheat Penny, but I had a decent high tone here. Fished it out from under the roots there. And I thought I had a Zinc Penny, but I haven't cleaned it yet and I see an Indian. And looks pretty thick. And I dropped it. Looks like a pretty thick one. So, let's see what we got here. Could be a fatty, but... It's an 1890-something, I believe. Let me get this cleaned up. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Got her cleaned up as best I can out here. She's an 1898. Beautiful Indian head scent. And I think it's going to clean up real nice when I get to the house and toothpick it. So, uh, I'm happy with that. A little silver on the day. And an Indian already before noon. Awesome. We'll keep going. All right, guys, working out here towards the road. I had a decent high tone, pretty shallow. Popped me up a flattened Model T valve stem cover. So, pretty neat little find. It's got some age. So far, things are pretty shallow here. I do believe this yard has been hunted before, but we'll see what we can pull. Got a pretty big yard here to look over, so see what happens. Stick with us. I'm not sure that it is now. Eric's called me over here, guys. He's got him a one cent piece. Get back at you. Let's see what she is. He's thinking maybe a fatty, possibly? Nope. Wow, it's I'm not I'm thinking fatty. maybe a weedy. It's definitely a weedy. And... Oh. If What'd I'm that ring up? A 20. Oh, too high for a fatty. Yeah, true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't even putting that in perspective. But yeah, it's... So you got a wheat penny, huh? Definitely going to be a weedy, unfortunately. All right, well, well I've got crazy. zero weedy, so you're up two to nothing on me. Two to nothing. Good job, though. Thank you, thank you. New permission. Already been hit. But I finally had a uh, target down here. 16, 17 on the Equinox 800. Flipped it up out from about five, six inches. And I see a green edge. Not thick, I don't believe. Uh, we'll see what we got here. It is an Indian. So the shield there. So what kind of date we got. Looks like it's going to clean up nice. It's going to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a fatty then. No, no fatty. I'll be right back. Let me get this cleaned up. We'll get a date for you guys. All right, got her out of the hole. Got her cleaned up. 1897 Indian head penny. So number two on the day, two 1800s coins. Bottom feed this shield. Let's find some right silver. All right, guys. We were heading toward the truck there, and I dug a. What I dig? A nickel Never. right here, a memorial right here. I had a 34 signal shallow right here, up in the plug. Look at that. Got me a silver. Sitting right there, you see the imprint? And it is a 62. 62 Washington, so nice size silver quarter. We'll take that all day. It's been a rough day so far. Denver Mint. I'm getting a silver quarter too. 1962, guys. Let's see what Eric's got over here. We got himself a penny. Is it a weedy? That's no, it's awful red, ain't it? Looking red. red. So, but we're happy with what we've got so far, and we'll see you on the next. All right, guys, me and Eric are on our last permission of the day. Beautiful house, built in the 1830s. I popped me a weedy, and now I've got myself 12 signal in the Equinox. A buffalo nickel. See if we can get some details for you guys. There is the buffalo. And there's the face. I don't know if I can get a date or not, but we may. On to the next. Alright guys, me and Eric are out here, right in front of the old house. She said it's been hit several times, but I just had a 23 and I popped up something bigger than a penny. Let me flip you around here. Came out from right down in there. There she is. I do not know what it is, but it looks like two cent size. Yep. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Let's see if we can get a date on this bad boy. I see a seven. 
67, I believe. I'd love to get a 70s. I think they made the two cents in the 70s, but pretty sure this is going to be a 67. Pretty common date, I think. I think that's the same date mine was yep. a couple weeks ago. It's a 67. Let me get this cleaned up, guys. Look at that. Wow. One white. Mm. It's been a while since I've had the two cent piece, so we're really happy. Eric, you had one a couple weeks ago, didn't you? Yeah, two weeks ago. Mine had a hole in it, though. Awesome. <laughs> Let me get this cleaned up. I'll be right back, guys. Thanks, man. Alrighty, there she is cleaned up. A little two cent piece. 1867. First coin with In God We Trust on the motto or on the coin. She's a beauty. An absolutely stunning coin. Bucket list find. I found a few in the past, but absolutely one of my favorite coins to find. So, Last one day you found made. That Civil War house, wasn't it? Next signal, guys, after my two cent piece. 16 on the Equinox. Bought me up a little flat button from about two inches deep. Been over shank, but plain front. Dates with the house, we're happy with that. As you can tell by the shadows, we won't be here long. In a big old yard. We may have to try to come back one day and see if we can look around out through here. There's the look of shame. I'm on Eric's side still, guys. Got like 100 wheat pennies, and now I've popped up a little silver. He's getting upset with me. At least I called it. He said it was a silver dime after I said, hey, here's a good signal. <laughs> and it looks like a 48. 48. Rosy dime. Oh, don't rub that thing. Rub them rosies, oh guys. Gosh. 1848, we'll take it. Beautiful little silver. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Thanks for watching. I knew it. All right, it's getting dark, guys. I've moved out here. The landowner said we could come back check this out sometime, but I'm over here next to the driveway. And had a 19 signal right on top of the ground. Thought maybe a zinc penny. Flipped it out down there. Cleaned it off a little bit. Got me another Indian. Beautiful Indian head scent. Minted from 1859 to 1909. Lady Liberty wearing a headdress. Back is crusty. Let's see if I can get a date for you guys. I'll be right back. All right, got the front cleaned off there. Beautiful 1902. Back still, still crusty. There's Eric's face, guys. He's not happy with me. Got me another signal here on the bank by the driveway. Down in here. Yeah. 1920 signal. Pretty deep. Yeah, like 20 Boom. Minutes. Another greenie. Beautiful green coin there. Indian head penny. <laughs> Let me wipe this off and I will uh, get the date for you guys. Right down on the other side, I didn't work the bank. Huh? Okay, right, guys, got her cleaned up. Enough for a date. 1886 Indian head penny. Indian head scent. Love it. Any day I find an Indian, I'm happy. Beautiful patina on these bad boys. Thanks for watching, folks. All right, guys, head toward the truck. Probably my last hole. From deep down in here, I thought I had another Indian. It flopped out over here. Got a little fob. Number 17, yeah. BNS. Get this one and see if anybody knows what it is for us. Yeah, let's see if anybody knows. This says PK. PK, 10 cents in trade. Concessionary token, I guess. Maybe. About God, bro. Awesome. That's fine, man. Okay, okay. All that right, folks. Too. Sorry about the road noise. We are back out again this morning, headed to our old stomping grounds, but we stopped at this beautiful 1800 home. And I'm working down this way toward the porch. Had a high tune, 30 some signal. And I thought I saw something shiny down in here. And there it is. It's loose dirt. If you guys can see that or not. Beautiful. Got a little dime. Yep. And I think I see a mercury dime. Didn't give her a spray there. Yep. Oh, yeah. She's pretty. Looks like a 40s model. Mm -hmm. And spray the back there real quick. Awesome. 
No mint mark, but in beautiful condition. Full lines. 43 maybe? Uh, yep. Yeah, it looks like 43 from up here. 43 mercury dime. Woohoo! <laughs> Super happy with a little piece of silver to start the day. Not even noon yet. Awesome. Not many signals out through here, guys. Uh, it's been pounded, but I had a 19 under this old tree. Let's take a look at it here. Big old tree. Been there a while. Anyway, down in here, about five, six inches deep, 19 on the equinox. Got a little small scent popped up. I think we got an Indian. Yes. Beautiful shape, looks like. Oh, it does. This soil is amazing here. It's a shame somebody beat us to it. See what we got. 1887. Awesome. I love Indians. That is a sweet find. That made my day. Now let's see what else we can grab. Catch you guys on the next one. Alright, we've moved on to a new permission here, guys. Over there. 1840s built house. My first decent target here. Popped it up. Got a little suspender clip. That's a neat old find. Well, happy with that. Alright guys, here's a look at the house we're hunting. Built in the 1830s. EMI is terrible. I got power lines 10 feet over my head. I had to uh, cancel everything from a 20 and under out so I could even detect. Anyway, got a 22. And I got a little drawer pull. Cute little thing, about five inches deep here in this hard pack, so we'll probably won't be sticking around here too much longer. All right, guys, we're back at the uh, 1830s house. Had a 22 signal here, popped it up out from about five inches. Already gave it one wipe. Got me another Indian, it's like an 1880, possibly. Beautiful condition. Get it cleaned up, and I'll show you guys in the wrap up. Alright guys, next target here, 19 on the Equinox, and I got myself another Indian head. Not sure the date on it, but we're getting dark, so I'm going to keep on going and I'll get this toothpick and put a picture in right here. guys had a 12 signal in the equinox and I got myself a V nickel let's see if I can get it in the sun here yes beautiful let's see if you can see a date on that thing 1893 I believe 1903 1903 1908 and Eric has himself a bucket list find let's see if we can focus Fatty Indian head penny, 1863. Wow, beautiful. First one. Awesome bucket lister, man. That's an excellent shape. Congrats. Thank you. All right, guys, still going out here, and we are finding all kinds of Indians. This has been an epic night so far. I got two in one hole. I wiped this one. 1907. Didn't clean it back really. But you can see it coming through. It's going to be in great shape. And I think we have another one here. Oh yeah. She looks a little worn. I think I see a 1881 coming through there. So we'll get her cleaned up. And we'll keep going. See what else we can get here before dark. Probably our last time at this permission, so let's see what we can find. Alright guys, there's Eric. We moved on. 
to out here by the driveway. I had a 12 signal, popped it up from down in here, and I got a vehicle. 1893. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Lady Liberty had nickel. Awesome. Beautiful condition. Happy with that. On to the next. Alright guys, we are done here today. I was getting ready to head toward the truck. Told Eric, man, it only takes one good target to save the day. And Fine. had a 34. Flipped it up. And this is how she landed. You missed that earlier, didn't you? And I got myself a Franklin Half Dollar. 1952. Wow. What a beautiful coin. Now that is the way to end the day. I'd shut my machine off and get yep, straight to the truck. Yep, time to head to the truck.